Hello everyone, welcome back, this is Recon Stewart, and today we're continuing Maple Flag Missions Tactical Training Qualification with Mission 15, Deep Interdiction Tasking. Today we will be flying deep in enemy territory and taking out some long-range radar sites that uh, will help our ground forces and our other air forces make a little bit uh, more progress towards defeating the enemy. So let's jump in and grab our briefing. Again, this is our AO and our restricted operating zones. And our flight plan today will take off from Vizani, fly out to Alpha, where we'll fence in, and then we're going to fly to IP Edsel, and we'll hit two targets, and then we'll fly back out, trying to avoid uh, anti air defenses, and head back to Vizani. Uh, this is our path here, IP Etzel. We've got suspected SAMs, AAA, and man pads, so we've got to be real careful as we try and navigate through this, uh, looks like a little valley, almost. And this is our first target. Uh, it's uh, air search radar and AAA emplacement. Uh, and this is collateral damage level is low. And it's going to be just to the south of this road here and you can see the target emplacement and the truck here we're going to use one GBU 31 and we're going to be doing a CCRP drop from high altitude to try and hit both those targets with one uh, GBU 31 alright and then we've got this is a closer uh, approach or excuse me, a closer uh, photo of the target, and it's going to be priority target one and two, so we'll probably drop right on number one here, and hopefully hit two as well, and maybe catch these utility trucks, or maybe I jump, eh, I'll probably drop in the center, hopefully we'll get both. Target is a uh, P-15 flat face uh, A radar, and the AAA ZU-23 emplacement. And then this is our second target. And again, you can find it by this road junction here. And this is a closer view. And then this, of course, is our target. We've got uh, these two mobile command center and an air search radar. So we want to put our bomb right in between the two of them. And target information, Operation Agile Spirit is the uh, mobile command center. And then we've got this mobile command post truck here as well. Weapon loadout today is our TGP, uh, two Maverick AGM-65D infrared air-to-surface missiles, two AIM-9 air-to-air missiles, the ECM jamming pod, and two GBU-31 Inertially guided aided munition. So this is a JDAM here. Uh, we've got our altitude blocks and our CSAR instructions. So let's jump into the cockpit and get going. Welcome, Airman. Our departure time is 0900. Get your birds started, and I'll meet you at the runway. Colt 1 1, Colt 1 2, proceed to IP Edsel and set up for your attack run. I'm going to gain some altitude. Alright, let's see if we can spot Colt our one. target on the ground here three, two, two, for as we gain altitude. Path hold. Target one. Let's make our TGP is soy. Trying to have forward long. Forward one. Tally vehicle two. Contact target one o'clock. Point nine. Two. Contact target two o'clock. Point one zero. I think I'm stuck on the mountains here. What I'm gonna do is once I since I've got JDAMs, 
I'm going to climb to 14,000 and I'm going to hold at IP Edsel and then uh, attempt to get eyes on this target set some mark points get eyes on the next target set mark points there and then uh, should be a smooth bomb run on both targets hopefully Colt 1-1, one, one, Colt 1-2, one, now hold at IP Edsel until your attack time All right, so let's put ourselves in a Springfield two, passing waypoint six at fairly steep orbit here. Warning, autopilot. Two. Let's see if I can locate these targets. Springfield and of course two, I'm nice. Waypoint seven at fifteen thousand. Alright, there's my first target. I am going to set a mark point. Come on now. Mark point with TMS right short. Right there. Okay, mark point is set. Okay. Let's go to the next target. Colt one one, Colt one two. You're at the IP. Begin your attack run. There they are. Oh, come on now. Set a mark point right there. TMS right short. Okay. All right, turn it in on the target. CCRP. And I need to make a turn around here. 
because I was too close. I had a little trouble. I didn't get my mark point set up on the second target, so. Two, contact air defense target, five o'clock, port three. Springfield two, tally armor at bullseye zero zero eight for eight. Missile away. Springfield two, tally armor at bulls three five seven for six. Springfield two, tally armor at bulls zero zero nine for eight. Forward one, defending Sam at Bulls three two two for thirteen. All right, turning back on. These missiles are scaring the bejesus out of me. Mark points are set. TGP is on. We are two mile, three miles out. All right, and pickle. Bombs away. Switching to mark point. Bravo. Looks good. One, pushing from waypoint seven at sixteen thousand. Colt one one, Colt one two, Springfield good hits two, on the target. Target has been terminated. And pickle on this one. Bombs away. More missiles. Dodge one, engaging bandit at two A two for eight at sixteen thousand. Good hits on that target. Colt one one, Colt one two. Good hits on the target. The target has been terminated. One one Colt one two. Good job, Airman. Time to egress. Time to egress. Now, last time I went a little far off the target or the path, and I got disqualified for leaving the area. So I'm going to try my very hardest not to do that. Let's get down to 14,000 feet. So basically. I don't know if I talked that one too on too well. As uh, soon as I hit IP Etzel, I put myself into an orbit. I then used my TGP on targets one and two, and I set two mark points, one at each. Colt one one, Colt one two. To help simulate a deep interdiction mission, you will have to complete a successful AAR before landing back at base. Good luck. More missile launches. Good lord. I don't think they're for me. I'm too low, or too high, rather. So anyway, I put two mark points on the target, and I then just did a smooth uh, pass and dropped on each one from a high altitude, and it seemed to work out pretty well, since I've got the JDAMs and not the LGBs. Alright, so my uh, waypoint... Dodge one, 
for the tanker, or not my waypoint, my radio is 150, and my TACAN is 05 X ray, and it looks like it's working. Good stuff. And let's turn. He wants us at 14,800. Man, there's lots around here. ETA range control, Colt 1 2, request clearance northeast of exit Alpha. Dodge 1, Tally Amo at 357. ETA range control, cleared for exit Alpha. Ford 1, defending Sam at Bullseye 319 for 12. Colt 1 2, Roger, cleared for exit Ford Alpha. Ford 1, Tally vehicle at Bullseye 319 for 13. Ford 1, Tally Triple A at Bulls 318 for 14. Springfield 2, All right. at RTB at 8000. Colt 1, fence out. Let's fence Dodge out one. here. Tally, at Bulls, zero, Lights zero, back eight, on. One, copy. Sun pack out. safe. Master arm safe. Laser uh, safe. TGP off. Maverick EOs off. And countermeasure system standby. Okay. Colt 1 1 fenced out 3.3. Three. Colt 1 2 fenced out 2.6. Now, hopefully, he'll give me instructions on how to refuel. Like, not how to, but. Uh, Colt 1 1, Colt 1 2. Time to get some gas for the ride home. Dodge Contact one, the tanker and we the rendezvous. Now, let's see if he stays on 1 2 4. Shell. Intent to refuel. Shell. Colt. One. One. Request rejoin. No good. Switching to one five zero. Sorry about that. Shell. Shell. Colt. One. One. Request rejoin. Mm, I'm using the wrong radio. Contact at 17,000, 28 miles out. Going Buster. The hell is pinging me? I'm going to go to 16,005.
looks like he might be coming right for us. There's two F-18s. Ten miles out, still directly ahead. Oh, I think I see him. And I see two F sixteens. All right, let's go through our checklist here. Master arm safe, gun pack safe, Dismas page. Everything is unselected. We're in navigation mode. Internal fuel check. All right, he's coming right at us, so let's get... Colt 1-1, one, one, Colt 1-2, one, visual on the tanker. And as I was going, let's turn our, let's open up our fueling, and we should be good to go. Let's get ourselves trimmed out here. And I'm going to readjust my view. Ready pre-contact. Ready pre-contact. Clear contact. Just keep her steady for me, sir.
There you go. You need to raise that boom a little sooner for me. I get nervous. have enough gas, disconnect and RTB. Uh oh, is he turning? No, that's just me. I think it's just me. Too close. Wiggle those toes, everybody. Get the blood flowing in your feet. Otherwise, you tense up and your arm gets all crazy trying to refuel. Now he's turning. He's definitely turning now. Uh, this is going to be close. I lost it, I think. Nope. Yep, yep. Too close, too close. Let's pull back and get another connection here. It's tough when he turns on, no warning on you. One good connect here and I'll head home. Small micro movements stick and throttle. It's all the key is to this and wiggling your toes. Wiggle your toes. Feeling pretty good. Right shoulder starting to cramp up. Feeling pretty good. He disconnected. I don't know if that's Oh, full! Way to go! Two connects. Very proud of myself. 
All right, where is my? Let's go ahead and close up our refuel. Heck yeah, two connects. That was one of my better times refueling. Let's just go buster for the heck of it. Alright, let's get back down to 15,000 feet. And let's turn our radios back to one two four. And Colt one one, Colt one two, radio check. Turn one, copy. In. Turn TACAN off. That was helpful because I've got MQT-9 coming up for the 476th to work on tanking procedures. Alright, turn into point 14 and going down to 8,000 feet. Just doing full buster, because yours truly's got a full tank of gas. And we will see you when we get back on the runway. Good news, Airman. Post-flight BDA reports good hits on all targets. Well, that was good. You made a successful AAR. Good yes, job. Yes, I did. That is true. All right, everybody. We did it. We did uh, the long-range interdiction tasking, and we did it with a Q rating, and I thought it went fairly smooth compared to some of my other missions getting those mark points down and just making one bomb run over the two targets and then getting out of the area had several missiles in the air i don't know that any of them were directed at me uh, i could not see them uh could have been all the other operators in the area and then of course we did a two connection uh, aerial refueling from 2,000 pounds to 11,000. very proud about that and then we made our way home and Q rating. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Join us next time for our next Maple Flag Missions Tactical Training Qualification number 15. And I don't even know what it's going to be. So looking forward to it. Take care.